Hey guys, starting up right where we left off in episode 3. So, this is now episode 4, and I am going to go check out the bank and uh, truck dealers. Actually, I already, already checked out the bank in the last episode, so we're going to go to truck dealers. Alright, let's see here. Scania. I can't do online because I don't have 5 trucks. wish I had 5 trucks, but I don't. So I only have 8,413. Let's see what I can get. Really want to travel? Yeah, sure. Why not? As long as it doesn't cost me a ton of money, I'm fine with that. Maybe we'll start doing jobs from hand over now. Ooh, ooh, goosebumps! All right, 360 horsepower. I have no idea if that's good or not. Since it's an entry level truck, I'm guessing not. 4x2 chassis, so that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two. so that's where they get that from. Alright. Purchase, I obviously I can't purchase it. If I had a $100,000 loan, I still couldn't purchase it. So I need to do probably at least, I don't know, maybe there's a cheaper truck, but normally they start you on the cheapest one. Just a hunch. One seventy, And you gotta be level 12. I think I'm level 2, 1, 2, maybe I made it to 2. Level 10, wow. 420 horsepower, that's pretty cool. 420. Now, I, let's see what, if I was buying today, what could I do? Cabin. Uh, can't do anything with that till level 8. Chassis, which is your, okay, 4x2, so I imagine you're probably going to add more wheels or stiffen the chassis or something. I don't know. I don't know what they do. Lots of engine options. That's cool. Wow. A lot of engine options. So you can buy one truck and just keep it upgrading the engine. That's nice. Interior. Ah. You can switch sides if you wanted to. If you were UK or the minority driver. Color. They, those all look like they're available. That's pretty cool. Orange is cool. Orange is cool just because of how bright it is. The white really pops, though. I do like the white. I would probably, you know, white or... No, that looks like dirty white. I would go white. Accessories. Okay, cool. Basically, what I need to do is do another job, at least. Uh, yeah, I'm not even buying the truck, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, well, let me check the other ones out real quick. Make sure that there isn't one I can buy. Pretty certain there isn't. So you have to have the money and the level. Oh, 730 horsepower, 25 level 25. That's like the bomb right there. That's cool. 620. That ain't too shabby either. Take that. 560. 500 with a six by two. Okay. See the extra wheels there. You got six by two. So those aren't dually wheels, they're just single wheels that are spread out. Now this one is a uh, yeah, it has dualies and the extra wheels. Alright. None of these I can get. None of them. And we're back where we started. Okay, let's get out of here and get a job. Get rolling. I know you guys aren't watching just to see me cream myself over sweet looking trucks so where are we at we, oh they didn't they didn't move us to Hanover I think where are we are we in Hanover well it has the most expensive job so we'll take that and uh, it's 325 kilometers so we will get our bonus trip time 5 hours and 15 minutes alright let's do it let's do it Let's get on the road. My my goal is to really do better with my turns. Oh, and it's raining. And I got new mail. Okay. They just don't want us to start driving. My concern, we are looking for skilled drivers with their own trucks to deliver, to make deliveries, basically. We offer competitive rates for 5000 up to 5300 That's much better. I'm going to pay it out. For a job, please have your own vehicle. Inquire directly at our dock in Zurich. Ah, okay. So Zurich has 
some private jobs available. I bet you me going to that truck dealer started that email. Okay. So where where's my I don't know where my load is there. I lost my load. That's what she said. Take job, maybe I have to do that. No 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 no. Where we wanna where's that? Oh that's a good job. Look at that, five thousand. Two twenty? I don't think the last one was that expensive from Hanover. What was that? Let's four thousand. Where am I at though? Can I take that job? Looks like a good one. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Where's my job? Holy crap. I just got bombarded by stuff. Hey, let's turn that off. I don't know what that was about. I, I don't see a GPS location. Where am I supposed to go? Where's my job? Where? Current job destination. Okay. Time me. Do I have a trailer hooked up to me already? Oh, okay. Cool. That's cool. I was thinking I had to find my trailer. Apparently not. Okay, but where is my GPS? How do I know where to go? Do I have to plan it myself or something? Okay, I am in Hanover. I know that much. So basically I need to get out on to... Oh wow, this is just all one area here. I need to somehow make it out here. How do I get out of there? It's like a freaking maze. Are you kidding me? I need to turn around and get out here onto the road. Okay. I'll do that. If I was in a quarry or something like this, it's probably about how tough it would be to slow it would be to drive out of that alone. Come on, give me to the road, give me to the road. I can't believe I got fined for headlights. I wasn't even I was I was still on pro private property. Steering wheel is vibrating. I don't know if that's because I'm on rocks going fast or. Yeah, and then it stopped as soon as I hit pavement and the sun came out. The vibrating stopped. That's interesting. Pretty cool. I'm in a much better mood now than I am. Out of there. So, I don't have to have my headlights on right now, but because there was bad weather and it got dark. I had to have my headlights on. That's pretty sophisticated. I mean, that's how it is here. If you have your wipers on, you should have your headlights on. Not your, not your daytime runners, because that means your rear tail lights are off, and uh, people behind you in rain and adverse conditions that require wipers still won't be able to see them. So. Daytime runners are not an acceptable substitute for headlights when the wipers are on in Ohio. Awesome. I think I should have. I think I should have looked right there before I turned. I think a car could have come down there and hit me.
speeding adds up pretty quick, but these cars are all blowing past me, so I must be safe. Okay, how long do I stay on this? Oh, I stay on this, it looks like, for quite a bit, so that's good. 300 meters, 200 meters, I think. And then I think we lose our lane, so I think I need to go left. Yep. Alright, so I gotta keep an eye. Oshfar. What does that mean? Exit? Oshfar. I kept thinking it was a town or something. It's like huge, you know? Oh, jeez. I got sped up. I was gonna pass. I kept thinking it was a town, but I was like, man, it's like the world's biggest town because every exit ramp leads to it. But I'm starting to think maybe it means exit. Nope. Sorry. Adjusting my pedals. Alright. 200 meters. I think that's 100 meters and I think this lane disappears in the right. Okay. And there it is. There's the city of Oshfart. Or Oshfart. Something like that. Must be a stinky ass city. finally made it out of Hanover. Yeah. 15 minutes into the video. We're finally leaving the Origin City. Nothing but pro here, buddy. Straight up pro. Alright, I'm just going to sit back and set the cruise. I'm just going to maintain this lane. And uh, chill out. I'll be excited to get my own truck. Jeez, man. Well, my steering, steering wheel. Glad there wasn't a car there. I would have just absolutely demolished it. Alright, this looks like a long stretch of road, so I am actually going to move right. So this car doesn't pass me on the right. Other drivers probably pull him out and beat him to death. If he did that. Those clouds are not nice looking. Like, sort of like storms pass through, and that's what you get to see. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty realistic. I'm digging that. So we got here. We got a field of uh, hay. Hay bales. Nice. I have noticed is it's easier to move around while driving in real life to take a look around while, while driving in real life than uh, in this game. I mean, paranoid to do so. You know, I haven't seen any of the scenery repeat yet, which I'm impressed with that driven a few hundred kilometers and I still have yet to see anything repeat. Maybe some of the buildings when you get into the city repeat, but the actual drive itself keeps you entertained. You know? I mean, that green field, I've never seen that before. It's pretty awesome. I do like these games where you get to uh, increase your skills, you get to kind of choose your own path, decide what you want to do, and you build business. I like, I like business games too. So anything that you get to build your business, make profit, manage expenses, uh, I love those. And uh, I 
love driving games, so you know so this is a good combination for me. It's a little, it's slower paced, uh, a Daisy Wasteland, Battlefield Three, all that stuff. It's sort of nice to chillax to this. And the Hunter, another game that I'm playing the hell out of right now. And uh, what I'm really waiting for is Daisy Standalone to come out. I hope it doesn't disappoint. sounds like they have some really great ideas as far as disease and uh, inventory object deterioration. I mean, magazines are going to deteriorate for your weapons, so that'll be cool. Does anybody who knows anything about firearms in real life understands that mag magazines are just as important to the functionality of a firearm as the uh, firearm itself? supplies the bullets. It's an important role. Anyway, enough talk about other games. Let me get back to this. This what is this dude hauling? This looks pretty cool. What's he got there? He's got some sort of crane. And he's got like bales or something. Ooh. Almost ran him off the road. There's a services center down there. interesting how in Europe they have their own dedicated area that they come right off the highway and get back on for like one, one service center, at least in the game. In the U.S. you just get off the road and there's like a million gas stations to choose from. Here you just kind of get off and there's your gas station. Maybe in real life they have multiple gas stations and you can pick which one you go, go to. But I, I don't know, I kind of like how rather than get off the road at a particular exit for a, another road, an intersection road, you have these uh, areas that are just dedicated towards, you know, vehicles. It's kind of nice. I imagine it helps with the congestion on the roads that are uh, your secondary roads that intersect. Because people aren't just getting off to fill up or grab something to eat. Okay, what we got here? I think I get off here. Yep. Darn. Did say I was going to try to work on my terms. That seemed much better. Like I got room on the right and the left side. I got a car coming up here. But I am going to lose my lane 300 meters. I bet I can turn off my lights now. I need to have the. Oh, I need to get off here. That's what I want. I almost missed my exit. Who has the right of way here? I don't see any stop. They got a stop sign, it looks like. But it wasn't a stop sign, it was some sort of blue sign. And this, oh, slow down. I'm about to take out this BMW 3 Series. Alright, two lane road. It's very cozy down here in the forest. That's going to be a little bit of a run here down to our destination. More windmills. Each windmill can power a TV. Awesome. I think I'll go with that view for my GPS. And I don't know what the speed limit is. I missed the sign, if there was one. But, like, I mean, look at the roads. Different road surface. And, it, you know, I haven't seen any of this stuff before. It's just, it's, it's just sweet. This, you guys got to try this out. I mean, 
if you haven't, they, they do have a, a trial version. It's like f four hours or three hours or something like that. You can download the game. Uh, I have seen that before, the green field, but not in this setting. But then again, if you drive through Ohio, you're going to see corn everywhere, so that's... But, uh, yeah, download it. Give it a shot. Try it out for three hours if you don't like it. Yeah, you'll know pretty quick and you'll shut it off, but... And if you're watching this far into this episode, or this series, then you're probably somewhat interested in it. Those of you that have stuck around. Assuming I'm not talking to myself here. Might have lost my entire subscriber base, I don't know. Oh well, I'm playing the game that I want to play, and I enjoy it, and... That's that. It's part of having your own channel better. Do your own channel. It's fun too. I really enjoy doing the YouTube thing. I never thought I could actually talk without actually talking to somebody and interacting uh, as much as I have. But uh, I don't know, you just start talking about anything that pops into your head. Hopefully it doesn't scare people too much. <laughs> Looks like a little rest area ahead. I'm going to get a gas price and see how it compares to the next one that I see. So I'm going to slow down here. What we got here? We got 146 for diesel. Okay. So next time we see a gas station that I can slow down for and see. We're going to have to see if diesel is 146 or not. speed limit sign. What is the speed limit? Oh, that's my turn. Traffic's a lot better here than it was uh, in Zurich or Genevieve. Yeah, Genevieve. That's it. Pedestrians aren't as good looking, but... I'd rather have no traffic than have s stop traffic where. Oops. About Austin Power, that one. Looking backwards and going forwards. switch levels you get skill points so yep all right hmm. what's the next best experience points from here I go to this starts doing rewards so I don't get experience points so here the nice thing about experience points is I get you know I get to level up faster, which I think allows me better vehicles. Well, I know it does. And then uh, I'll be getting these skills faster, too. So I think getting your skill or getting your experience points bonuses early is a key. Or the, the most efficient way to play. So this one, you get 22 experience po bonus points for delivering the fragile cargo. That's pretty good. So I have 25 plus 22 if it's over 250 kilometers. Eco driving. I'm not worried about that. I don't even have to buy my own fuel right now. 
maybe later when I do have to buy my own fuel. Yeah, let's do this one because that gives the most experience bonus points. Yeah, let's do that. Alright guys, see you on the next one.